Hello, Bronwyn Lund here from Bronholm Tours. I'm uh, making these uh, 360 VR walk tours for uh, people who uh, either can't get to the island of Bornholm or can't get around the island. Um, and today uh, I'm standing on um, the east side of the island. Um, I'm probably about five kilometres north of the town of Guljem, just uh, south of, uh, of the uh, Bornholm Art Gallery. And um, I'm actually going to uh, walk in a southerly direction towards Guljem and uh, just uh, give you the opportunity to, uh, to enjoy this uh, incredible coastline. So I hope you enjoy the tour. All along this walk are um, a number of uh, steps down and up the cliff so you can walk along and really get a good look at the cliff as you go along. Now there are names for all of these rocky structures and we'll come across a sign soon. I can't remember the names of all of them. But we'll come across some signs so we'll be able to find out the names of them as we're going along. Beautiful day today, fantastic for filming. Of course, it's the middle of winter at the moment, so the forest is looking pretty bare. In the summertime, this is very lush and green, as you can probably imagine.
but there's a little sign here saying Luciclippen. So it's uh, the light cliff. The light cliff, sorry. So we're looking north up the coast. And this is south. Right, so here's a sign giving us a bit of uh, information about the area. And uh, we actually uh, started um, from this point here, which is called Luciclippen. I have done another walk, um, which goes down, um, all the way down the cliff to, to the uh, Sorda Fulla. Um, and uh, around and back up so check out that walk um, if you want to see that part of the coast but uh, we started from um, here and uh, we've walked down here <coughs> and uh, and then uh, we're going to walk around and have a look at the apostles um, and wrap up the tour there so um, <coughs> what we've just seen is um, Luceklippen, Luceren and Gorseren, which is goose in Danish. Um, and uh, and uh, the uh, point uh, over here is just called the um, wall or, or the wet oven. So um, the whole area is called the Helidoms, or called Helidoms Klippener, or the sanctuary cliffs. Um, and they consist of rugged rock formations, some as high as 22 metres. Since the Holy Spring, Wu Kilia, which people made pilgrimages to, flowed out at the foot of the cliff named Halidom's Klippen. The site was frequented during the medieval times and especially at Midsummer Eve. Most of the coastal area is protected by conservation laws with public access along marked paths. The irregular form of the sanctuary cliffs with their deep grottos and sheer craggy granite columns have been shaped by wind and weather throughout the thousands of years. During the Ice Age, most of the present, co co present coastline was underwater, yet when the layer of ice receded, the island rose. 
and now this section of Fonholm Coast is 20 metres above sea level. To the west of the cliffs is Dundalen, where you will find one of the island's most beautiful waterfalls, and that is the subject um, of another one of my walks. Um, a visit to this valley um, is absolutely worth the effort. That's very true. So we'll just continue along until we get to the Apostles. I think just about every country has a has a rock formation called the Apostles. We, in Australia, where I come from, we we used to have the Twelve Apostles. Actually, it was a it was a group of a, of rocks along the Great Ocean Road in Victoria. But I think there's only three left or something. They've fallen into the water, but. Uh, Seems like a good thing to call a, a group of rock formations that look like people standing is to uh, call them the apostles. down here and try not to fall off the edge of the cliff. That would be the end of Bronholm Tours.
that, well, those 12 apostles seem to uh, have been a little bit elusive today, but I'm going to wrap the tour up here. I hope you enjoyed it. This is Brunwen Lund from Brunholm Tours, signing off from uh, the island of Brunholm. Bye for now.